Hey guys, Brandon with Trademark. Uh, we are in East Point right now. This is property ID 18651. This is a three bedroom, one and a half bath brick bungalow. Uh, it's approximately 1,265 square feet. It was built in 1941. This house is on the market for 39,900. Uh, taxes are right around 2,300 a year. Uh, this house has a lot of charm. Needs a little TLC, but it's got a lot of charm to it, a lot of character. Take a quick pan of the neighborhood here. Lots of brick bungalows. Very nice street, lots of big trees. Very nice. Does, the house does have a three dimensional shingle on it. Appears to be new. There's a section in the back that's gotta be replaced. Uh, there's a tarp there. Uh, don't see really any major damage inside though from wherever the water was coming in. So that's good. Driveway and sidewalks are in good shape. A couple of the steps going up need to be replaced. They're cracked right in the middle. Brick on the house is in, in really good shape. does have wood windows, but they appear to be in pretty good shape. Just need to be painted. A little maintenance done to them. Some new paint around the front door. House has nice landscaping all the way around. It's got a fenced-in yard. Glass block windows. There are storm, uh, storm windows all the way around as well. There's an AC unit back there behind those bushes. I have to put a railing around the front porch here. This house has a lot of character. Nice big driveway. It does have a full basement and detached two car garage. Landscaping is a little overgrown, needs to be trimmed back so we can get the driveway back. Biggest issue at the moment with this house is going to be this back porch. It's raising up in the corner here and it is sunken in in the middle. So your option is to remove the cement slab on top and replace it or just take the whole thing off and then just put some stairs going down for the back door does have a rigid riser going down. The electrical service. And then the pane air conditioning unit is back in there buried. So we need to clear out around it. Decent size yard. I cannot gain access to the inside of the garage but the door looks like it's in good shape. It's got a three tab shingle on it. Uh, appears like it's in pretty good shape. Wouldn't need to replace it. As I said, the house has a new roof, but there's one section where the roof is missing, and they've got a tarp just above it. But I looked on the inside, and I don't see why they have the tarp up there. It actually looks okay. <clears throat> Let's go take a look at the inside. It's got a newer side door there. Just needs some fresh paint on it. Very cool property. That's a nice Japanese maple there. That's about a $1,500 Japanese maple actually. House does have hardwood floors throughout the first floor. So for the whole house we're going to patch prime paint throughout. Take up the carpet, finish the hardwood floors underneath. Uh, new electrical package throughout. So this is the family room we walk into. Nice room, cove ceilings, and a fireplace. Love the fireplace. Go we'll take a look in the kitchen. Kitchen's got a vinyl floor. This needs to be cleaned. It's actually in pretty good shape. I think you could just reuse it. Put some paint on the walls. Cabinets are also in good shape. So are the counters as well. Sink just needs to be reglazed, put in a new fixture. And you've got a great kitchen. A lot of potential. You have the full bath. It's got the original tile throughout. Just needs a good cleaning, good grout cleaning. Reglaze the bathtub, re silicone around the edges. It's got a newer toilet. 
The vanity is kind of old, but it's in good shape. You just refinish it. It's a nice bathroom. We'll go upstairs momentarily. Bedroom one, again, patch pine paint. Refinish the floors. Pretty nice space. Bedroom two. That hole is where the ductwork was. Same in this room as all the others. This actually has a pretty cool door going out to the back. Kind of neat. We'll take a look at a nice little built in there. That's where the old doorbell used to be. And that would be where the old phone used to be. Kind of cool. Take a look upstairs. Upstairs we'll get new carpet. It's got a whole lot of built-ins on this wall. Lots of storage up here. Pretty cool. The whole wall is built-in. It's all knotty pine. Lots of built-in drawers. Pretty neat actually. Got one glass, uh, one glass pane needs to be replaced. Some more built-ins over here. Nice space. And this is a closet. That's where that missing vent is at. And then just above, that's where the tarp. But actually, everything looks pretty good up here. So I don't know if maybe a couple of the shingles came loose. So they decided to just throw a tarp up. But I don't see any significant water damage or anything. It looks pretty good. Go down take a quick peek at the basement. Nice side door there. The basement floor is actually in pretty good shape. You could just Clean it up and reuse it. Most of the tiles are, all the tiles are intact. It does have a uh, paneling going around the walls. You could just keep it and repaint it. Or you could repoly it also. It's got some storage under the stairs. And this house has high ceilings in the basement here. There's another two and a half feet above my head. So very neat very cool we've got a newer water heater it's in great shape it's got a manufacturer date of 2006 on it you reuse that it's got a pain furnace and a pain uh, air conditioning unit outside all in great shape this needs to be uh, checked and recertified but it's in great shape we've got copper plumbing throughout some PVC in there too for the waste. We've got a 150 amp Siemens panel. This would be your laundry area. Some cabinets. I'm trying to follow my light with the camera here. I'm not real good at that. And this would be the half bath. We've got to step up into the half bath, which is going to need a new floor. It's going to need some paint. Uh, correction, this is not a half bath. I missed this the first time. It is a full bath. So this house has two full baths in it. Liner is in great shape, so is the tub. All you need in here is floor, paint, a new mirror, and a new toilet, which I just brushed up against. And okay, it's got a little built in cabinet here. Very nice. Again, this is property ID 18651, 1265 square feet, brick bungalow, three bedrooms, two baths, built in 1941. Taxes are about 2300 uh, This house is on the market for 39900 Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube page. Thanks for watching.